Yesterday I decided to try making a particle emitter node and this is how far I was able to get. I got into one issue in Buildbox and it was the fact that I wasn't able to get access to additive blending option with JavaScript. So in Buildbox there is a animation node that you can use and in that animation node there's an option for additive blending. And what it does, so for instance if I add smoke here and I turn on additive blending, I'll turn off my particle emitter right now. If I preview that you can see that's how it looks right now. But the change happens if you have multiple animations. So if I duplicate the animation you can see that the spots that were light before they are getting brighter and that's what additive blending does. The additive blending option also exists in the animation settings. So there's an option for additive blending right here. And that's what I tried to do. So in my particle emitter, I have the particle, which is an animation node. And if you go to edit and click additive blending, it seems like it's not changing anything during the gameplay. So my guess is that Buildbox is overriding this additive blending when you create an animation component and there isn't anything in documentation about additive blending option for the animation component. Without those options it's hard to use the particle system to create something like fire and stuff like that. I do have another route that I'm thinking of taking to avoid this issue. But for now, I'll leave this project as is. And today I'll go to Unity Engine and try making some cool stuff with their particle system. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.